we're one of those great family stories that's the American dream. I mean, you were broke and 40 years old and started making meat snacks. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> it is not how it works. <laughs> so dad, obviously you grew up in the meat business, in the family business, and you know, we always joke you're a meathead <laughs> at heart and the family's got a lot of meathead in it. How much do you think that that has influenced the Jack Link's evolution? Probably on a scale of one to 10, probably 10. My grandfather came from Germany. He opened up a small butcher shop up in Meinung. We always were MDs, meat dealers. <laughs> and uh, I, you know, I started when I was seven, eight years old. I did the raising of the cattle, I did the butchering. I uh, studied under a German sausage maker. We made 47 different kinds of sausages and we started making the kippered beef and that became our career. The recipes come from three, four generations ago from Germany. Original kippered beef and original jerky is uh, essentially those blends of spices left over from my grandfather. I think me pushing you to get into beef jerky and pushing you and pushing you, you know, you probably would have fired me if I wasn't your son. That's correct. And it just took off with so much steam, you couldn't say no. Working with your father, working with your son, doesn't get any better, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't, and being family owned allows us a lot of freedom because this is a, we get to operate as a marathon, it's not a sprint. You're gonna work hard, you're gonna spend a lot of time and a lot of energy, and you're gonna hopefully be around a lot of great people and everything, but making beef jerky is just fun. I mean, when people say, what do you do? And you say, I sell beef jerky. They're like, full of questions. It's the number one question that people say, hey, listen, when do you sell the company? I already have a new pickup truck. And I already have a new pair of blue jeans. I got a good dog. And my wife's fine. Uh, we're making good quality snacks and our sales are good. And, you know, I don't know how it can get a whole lot better. We work hard, but we love what we do. And, you know, People say, why aren't you for sale? We love what we do, so why would you change it? You're obviously uh, focused on legacy. You're building the Jack Link's Aquatic and Activity Center. You contributed you know, well over a million dollars to education in the communities and where we serve. We continually donate to uh, our men and women in uniform. You know, What else do you see in your legacy? Well, uh, I'm pretty happy the way things are. And I'd just like to have uh, more happiness amongst everybody and uh, jobs for everyone, paychecks for everyone, have the business prosper and do good and, and, and just create the, uh, the American dream. And, and it's been that way and uh, hopefully it keeps on going that way. And uh, well, You've done a good job. I mean, you've created lots of opportunity for all of us. Well, thanks. There's yeah. lots and lots of people uh -huh. in the organization. Uh -huh. But what else do you see as your... That's my guy, you can't use my guy. Oh. You're the black one. <laughs> Thought maybe you weren't paying attention. No. <laughs> no. I'm paying attention. I get paid to pay attention. Keep We're about done here. It won't yeah. take long. <laughs>